anyways, hey guys, it's Wild. Got a battle here against some guy from the Smog on Wi Fi Battle Finder, and I decided to play some 4th Gen OU because 4th Gen OU is still very fun, despite it being outdated and stuff. So he's gonna be leading off with the South Self, and I'm gonna be leading off with my Celebi. And I wanted to set up the Stealth Rocks because it's the second best move in the game behind U Turn, but he predicts that nicely and goes for the Dawn and sets up the Drone Rocks. So to get rid of the time, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn just to get that switch initiative. Oh my goodness, I just love U-turn. The best move in the game. So I'm just gonna go for U-turn again after bringing up my fly on, so I can just kill the sad elf easily. And but unfortunately, I'm getting getting the switch initiative since I'm gonna be setting up my Celebi before as elf dies and stuff. So seeing my Celebi, he's going to be going into his Heat Brand to take, take me out. And I didn't really value my Celebi that much, so I went for the Stealth Rock as he goes through Flamethrower. I could have gone for the Earth Power, but I felt that Stealth Rocks were more important. And that Flamethrower from Heat Brand is like more boosted, as you'll see later. And it'll easily take up my Celebi and whatnot. So now comes my Flygon again. And I go for the Earthquake just to try to kill this Heat Brand, but he... Which is in his Toga Kiss, predicting that. I could have gone for the U turn again, but I was too lazy to predict. And I'm just a lazy person in general. I mean, did you see how long it took me to do my cipher? I pretty much bored the heck out of everyone. <laughs> because I just couldn't get it done and stuff. But now I'm, I'm gonna be setting up my Metagross to combat this Toga Kiss. Go for the Thunder Punch, <laughs> and it doesn't quite take it out. And he's going to be go hitting me with a plus two air slash. And that's going to be doing a lot since it's plus two and stuff. And now he's going to be switching on his Stoke Kiss and bringing in his Heat Ran. And I'm just going to go for the Meteor Mash and just and switch up moves. But unfortunately, I miss. Oh, during a fire move, I'm going to be switching out into my Starmie to sponge it. But it only does enough. So it's a 2 8 KO, even though I do have the leftovers. But here he's going to switch out for some reason, he just could have flamethrowered me again, and, got, and KO'd my Starmie. And here, yeah, he was fearing the surf, but I was, but I knew he was going to switch, so I went for the rapid spin and get away all those, get away all those stealth rocks, hindering my team. So now I'm going to be switching it into my silver, so I can just, such as Cresselia easier, but it goes for the Thunder Wave. So now I'm slowed down, but it doesn't really matter since I do have that Bullet Punch, and Cresselia can't really touch me anyway outside the rare Hidden Power Fire. So I'm just going to be going for the U-turn to deal some super effective damage. And this is a Choice Banded Scizor, so I know it's going to be doing a whole lot. <laughs> and it does about, like, 87%. So this needs me a way to go into my Flygon to try to kill it with U-turn. But he switches out into his Umbreon, having I hope that he'll try to take the U-turn. But it, but U-turn does a lot because it's his best move in the game, and it gives you that, all that switch initiative and stuff. So now I'm just gonna be going into my Infernape, and I'm gonna be spamming close combat from here on out. And, and as you'll see a little later, his last guy is Weavile, so it's pretty much a good game. So I don't know why the heck I'm narrating up to this point. Maybe I can go shopping and stuff and probably get myself a Kesha beanie. Because I do like it more than all my other beanies. And maybe get myself an Oshawa beanie to show my undying love for Lil Cup and stuff. And maybe I can also get Snowflake a collar and probably give Alina some gum. <coughs> Jump, Snowflake! Stop barking! And get that Kesha beanie out of your mouth! I love that Kesha beanie! Maybe I'll buy that darn dog a muzzle to Keep his yap shut, so I don't have to tell him to shut up 24-7-365. And maybe I can get myself an eye patch so I can prevent myself from bolt switching into my left eye, so I don't have to go totally blind and have to rinse myself with Rotom Sidra Pulp. Rotom! So I think the recording's almost about done now, so if you enjoy my narration, you can check me out on my own channel, so you guys can give me money to get some concert tickets. It's Ted! T-E-H, Wild Chase, W-I-L-E-C-H-A-S, E. Break up and stuff later, guys. Mm.